Hello Addicted, welcome back to my channel, I'm your host Chiki. And today I'm not going to make a deck tech video, I'm going to teach you how I made my decks. And this is going to be kind of weird because I'm recording from my phone. But it's okay, this is what I do. So the first step is to search for the cards that I need in the deck. Uh, first the commander is going to be Itrata or Itrata or whatever. And I think she's pretty broken, so the first thing I did here was to search for her price because I have a little bit budget and then as I knew already the ability I want to search for cards and return her to hand because when she hits the trigger ability will trigger when she hits and then she gets shuffled back into the deck well, at the bottom of the deck I think, I don't remember and I needed to a way to make it go back to the hand or to the graveyard. I explored that too. But here I am putting into Cockatrice. That is one of the best, if not the best way to test the decks. I actually use it for everything. So here I am putting all the cards that I'm looking that return a creature to hand. That it has to be our creature. But it not only works with our creature, but it can also work with our opponent's creatures. So I'm searching for everything here. I'm trying to search here for only incense or artifacts or enchantments that actually return to hand at instant speed. Because, uh, yeah, we don't want her to go back to the common zone. We want to cast her like every time for the four mana. She's four mana. I actually thought she was five, and at first I was kind of confused when casting her or whatever. But then. I found that she's not that hard to cast and even if she goes back to the common zone it's going to be 6 mana for a kill mostly so it's okay then well we are still here searching for all the cards actually the videos that you see here are speeded up for 1000% yeah it took a long time and what you saw me doing that with the sword is that I actually was searching for the price because it would be pretty cool to hit and on top the lands, but it's too expensive, so yeah, I had to let it pass. And let me see. Okay, here I'm also trying to explore what she can do when hitting. So I was putting um, enchantments or artifacts that made me draw, but then I realized that was not pretty good, you'll see in a minute. Then I go for the ramp, and I wanted to take care, let's say, because if our opponents don't play creatures, we do nothing. So we want to give them creatures, but they can't be tokens. So I'm going to put stuff like Polymorph that gives them a creature from the top. But that means that we need another thing to take care of what can be getting into play. It could be something disastrous for us. So Torpor Orb will be pretty good. I'm also here searching for stuff that blinks because she can also be blinked when she hits and we don't have to pay the mana. That will be much better than a returning to hand, so yeah. I'm putting a key the mana, the land, a key, like in Espanol. <laughs> and I want I went for something easy at the beginning. Then I this is not going to be the final list. I have to uh, edit a lot and test a lot. But this is just to show you how I do it. Then some control spells. So you can see what kind of stuff give tokens. So I can then transform it into actual creatures. And then some control, like counter spells and stuff that gives them counters. Then I was trying to explore here the reanimate part. We can sacrifice her and then reanimate her. But as I saw later, it's not going to be good. But it still was. It's a good idea. We want to explore it. And I thought about Shieldred. She's pretty cool. Let's sacrifice our commander. And at the beginning, we just return to battlefield. But the bad part of, of Shieldred is that she actually makes her opening sacrifice. So if they have only one creature, we're not doing anything with it. Uh, 
Also, bring bring to sacrifice our commander. Don't research something for sacrificing at instant speed and almost free. Creation Tower is a pretty good card, but too expensive. I own, I already own one, but I can't have another one. So I prefer not including the deck. That of course counter spell. We want something cheap and easy to cast. Then yeah, the land with haste, and we want her with haste, so we we'll let her see that on. And some really nasty counters, like for example, Add Snatch is pretty awful for the opponent because we steal their things, and it's a really good card, and almost nobody sees it play. And a little ramp or mana rocks that we always need. And the faster she gets to the battlefield, the better. Then we get the first test of the game. It's a very rough test. I make the old mulligan to keep hands. As you can see, I have already 20, 124 cards plus, se uh, plus 8. That's 132 cards in the deck. And that's too much, but it's just a test. I want to see how the deck begins and uh, behaves in these early stages. And I'm testing it here with my discard deck. That is I just kept the first hand that appeared, I think, I don't remember. But the deck is pretty cool. But it, as you can see in this short video of testing it, that this deck, the Trata deck, I call it the Hitman deck, even if she's a woman, but whatever. And it's pretty brutal, three, hit, three right hits, and it's game over for anyone. But at uh, this stage, the deck doesn't have too much consistency. So, as you can see here, I already hit her. Hit my opponent twice. He has two creatures exiled. Three and six common damage. And my commander. Okay, I won already. There. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird because I'm recording while seeing this, so I don't have too much time to talk. And the next uh, part that I do is to sort every single card in different categories and for example let's see if i can see here i have returned to hand i'm searching here for stuff that gives haste and missing any scars or well anything goes in a different category and i try to sort it so i can see what fits what is good and what is not I want to put in the left bottom corner that already has a one is the cards that already said no this is not going to work so I remove them. So let's see I'm searching here for more stuff. Even if I have already too much cards I like to keep adding if I need them and then I'm going to cut them down until I get a 100. This process can take a really really long time with my Lich's deck it took me like I guess two months to finish the deck from 0 to like 154 cards and then trimming that down to 100 is pretty pretty hard especially when you need like really good cards and they make synergy with everything so you don't know how to take down back to 100 cards but yeah I'm also here searching for I don't remember there was a problem with the scryphone, the formula I was using. But yeah, I was searching here for some of the blinks, more like creatures or so. So I keep searching, and when I first search, I start with the category, category or however you say that, with the less number of, of cards or the most, most useful. For example, here I start with the ramp because I need all the ramp, then the blink, because I find it pretty cool, then the haste. Here is the reanimate, the sacrifice and reanimate. I was searching for stuff, I thought it was cool, but I saw that it was not going to work later. Then here is the token part with a um, kind of combo thing, that when I give you a token, I use uh, polymorph effects, 
to sacrifice your token and give you an actual creature so I can exile it. And that's going to help me win because if I hit a token that's not going to get exiled. So yeah. I also thought here about identity theft and but it's not worth it. It does the same and it has a commander there, but eh, it's not worth it. Then I realized I need tutors for the Proteus' stuff. So yeah, I had to search it. And then here the biggest part of the deck are the return to head effects. So first I sort them into mana cost. And then I had to see which from each cost are going to be worth it. I said first one cost, they are pretty good, so I kept them. Then searching from higher to lower to see priority, what helps, what's not. And I keep the little stuff. Then one thing that I like is the multi-purpose and the multi-use. So if I can use a card once, it's not going to be as good as a card that I can use too. And that's not going to be so good from compared to a card that I can use multiple times. So that's like the scale. As you can see, I still have like 119 cards in deck. Okay, here I decided to delete the sacrifice effect thing because it wasn't going to help. So then I I make a solitary test to see how the deck works by itself. If ramp is okay, how is the hand going or whatever. Just to see if the deck behaves good or not. And then if I think it's okay, then I go to a tune test when I already have that deck versus another deck. But this is going to be a better match because the deck is a little bit tuned. I just, just try to search for weaknesses and strengths of the deck. So as you can see here, I'm playing with my um, Kraken Tribal deck with Prime Speaker Sigana. And I will make a video for that deck in the future if in case you're interested. So I already made the first hit with her, but then I realized that if a creature has Shroud or Hexproof, it's going to fuck me up, so I search for the lands that take that away, but I also need a little more stuff, I didn't include it here while I was testing. But yeah, then I kept playing, I can see stuff that I need, and one thing that I realized here is that I actually need uh, more tutors because I need, for example, I give him, uh, I give him here tokens, but it's not enough. What do I do with the tokens? Nothing. I hit him here for the second one, and yeah, I'm about to lose that game because of the creature with shroud, and there's nothing I can do because. I don't have anything for the token, so I make a uh, first here sorting. I need to take some of the return to hand effects away to include uh, tutors for the um, actual polymorph, for example, or the protosis stuff that are like the most important thing of the deck by now. And yeah, I'm not going to explain too much of which cards I'm searching. I'm also searching, well, here I decided to take Liliana because she tutors. And I think twice she started with five if I'm not wrong. So she can tutor for twice in a game in case I need it. And I was just searching here, then I was for a second round with a little better deck. I decided to well I'm not going to play all the games, but I got here something for return to hand. And Okay, I have here the Protoss stuff and the thing that gives a squirrel. So I was going to transmute to say something that into the into a token. But I saw some stuff here that I I have very bad luck, and you'll see later.
in that City of Solitude fucked me up in the end of the game as I was relaying something. And also I was relaying that protective stuff can be activated at instant speed, but not only at sorcery speed. So I didn't read that good. But yeah, that just like the basics. I know the video was a kind of rushed, it's pretty complicated to record in a different place than the thing that I'm recording the voice and I'm already playing a video while talking and so, but you get the idea, I first just search for everything, I test, I trim the deck, I test, I trim the deck and I repeat until I manage to get to a hundred cards and yeah, that will be it. The finished video for this deck, I don't know when I'm going to make it. By now, let me give a second to search because the deck already fixed a little bit of the lens. I'm going to include more color for the deck, but let's see. I already have the deck still in 108 cards and yeah, I need 8 cards to delete. Then test against some other kind of decks like Control, Moragro, uh, Combo, anything to see if the deck behaves and then I'm going to make a video. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sorry because my voice is kind of complicated. As, I, as you know, I'm not an English speaker, so... well, native English speaker. So yeah, it's complicated. If you liked the video, please let me know in the comments and tell me what's your process to create your own decks. This is mine, everyone has their different process. I just don't like people that do net decking and copy everything. But yeah, there are a lot of people in this world and they do different stuff. So I'll see you guys next week with another deck tech video and see ya.